Well, I do love my thread masterpiece, right? Yes. Silk wasn't around at that point, and I have to say, I have really fallen in love with your silk. Most people do. Once they buy our silk and try it, they don't want to do, use anything else. So here's the deal. Silk is kind of expensive. Well, it's because it's actually made from worms. Okay. This isn't something that we can just... Make. Yeah. You can't just replicate it. It's exactly the same old way. They boil up the cocoons. They have to extrude the threads just like they did hundreds of years ago. So it's, it's labor intensive. So here's what I use it for. I use it for, originally silk was for hand applique, just hides totally. But right. Libby's bottom line does too, and that's yes, a polyester does. thread. Mm -hmm. So that works great too. But I've also come to um, piece with it and machine quilt, because I like my machine quilting to disappear. Yes, disappear or background. You can add so much texture with silk because you can put a lot of it in a small area and it will just give you that real great texture. And you grabbed a cone I of, did. where'd it go? It's right here. Okay. I'm just gonna say that our silk comes on spools. Okay. And this is a cone of silk that has a thousand meters on it. Mm -hmm. And then when you look at our King Tut, sure, our King Tut has 2,000 meters. But if look you... Look at that. Yeah. If you were going to... S people say, well, where are your cones? And I say, this is our cone. They said, no, where's your cones of silk? Big cone. Really? This is our big cone of silk. Now, one thing I will say when I work with silk, when I'm doing hand applique, sometimes it like gets unthreaded, it like slides off. This doesn't. It has a slight grain to it, so it stays right into the eye of the needle. Also, it doesn't knot on itself. And that's the biggest comment we've gotten from uh, customers, is that they make that beautiful curve and then the thread knots and they have to undo all the way back, refix it, and then come in through. They said they can just keep going, binding is another thing that people love this for. Now, I didn't introduce Heather, but this is Heather Purcell, of which Hi. Mother Superior. That's and, me. And you are in charge of? All design, all thread, uh, thickness, type, um, use use of why I'm, why I'm actually making the thread. Because a lot of times people say, well, I need a thread that does, that can do this, this, this. So I look for, fiber types that will do that. I choose all the colors. I do all the naming of the threads. I Big job. Yes. I photograph the threads. And Bob is education. Yes. So then who's minding the show? Who's the big kahuna here? I thought it was you guys. Actually, the big kahuna is two big kahunas. One is John Cole and Todd Purcell. I and they're I our vice him. presidents. I know him. Yeah, he's a good kid. <laughs> But I will tell you, we did fire him three times when he was a teenager. <laughs> so it goes. Yeah.